Today, I'm gonna be laying down the truth of art school, y'all. All the pros, the cons, the ins, the outs, the ups and downs, bitch. And talking about my experience in art school, I really hope to give y'all a new perspective to look at when you're deciding your own future, or if you're not even gonna go to art school and you're just watching this for fun, you can hear me rant a bit, okay? Because I have some things to get off my chest. So we're gonna start off with the hard-hitting cons. Why you should not go to art school, okay? The first one is money. You should not take out a bunch of loans to go to art school because it is not worth it, in my opinion, to put yourself through tens of thousands of dollars of student loan debt, especially if you're going into like a fine art route rather than design. Because your ROI is gonna be very, very, low if not negative babes um not to say that it's impossible but it's just like more difficult getting a job than if you were a cs major or if you were a medical student or if you were a lawyer or if you're pretty much any other job so when i decided to go into usc's art school i thought it was worth it for me personally because i one had the communications major to kind of back myself up in the job market it also made sense for me because i have a scholarship and i'm on financial aid at usc so i won't graduate with much student loan debt also another part that I'm gonna be extremely transparent about I grew up very privileged and so I'm very lucky to have supportive parents who are helping me pay for my education and that is another reason why I will have as much student loan debt after college another big cost of art school is literally your art supplies for example my printmaking class probably cost me three hundred dollars for one semester one class and a lot of art schools use the justification of like oh we don't have textbooks in this class so the money you would have spent on textbooks for a different class you can just use for your art supplies however if i had a textbook in another class you know i'm looking that shit up like for free um allegedly i'm not actually i would never do that ever like the paper my professors were recommending for my printmaking class was $15 per sheet. I didn't even know they sold paper that expensive, but it was like the Arches, like 100% cotton printmaking archival paper. Like girl, they're just adding adjectives at this point. So I said, f that. I'm using the little $5 paper, which was still really f expensive. $5 per sheet? Like huh but like that was the cheapest one that i could use for the assignment so i did now that one was the extreme side of spending money usually classes aren't more than like a hundred dollars per semester for like paint and canvases and whatnot but it gets up there y'all another con that is very closely related is that our school does not prepare you for after graduation like you do have some internships that are kind of emailed to you but they don't prepare you for like getting into galleries after about how to network about how to use your soft skills to expand your community and you're just self-advocate like hell in art school because they just kind of prepare you for your own practice and building that up but it's only like maybe one or two classes maybe if you're a designer that's much different because you have a lot of different jobs afterwards for example 3d modeling ui ux graphic design design is much more marketable as a skill after graduation and there's a lot more jobs in it but if you're a fine artist and working in like installation or sculpture it's kind of just like oh here's some like techniques and stuff and now go on your own and like make money and that's not to say it's impossible okay i want to tear down like the whole stereotype of a starving artist because there's so many different avenues you can go into after grad where you could pivot from art to design or you can be an illustrator you can be a freelancer do commissions do social media you know share work with other people but it is a lot less preparation than you would get if you were a business major i don't know like think about taking like three painting classes and then just imagine yourself graduating and then applying for jobs and building a resume. What experience can you put on a resume if you're just doing your coursework and what skills are preparing you to be able to get a job afterwards? Simply like making paintings and building a portfolio will not always get you the opportunities that will pay off student loans, which is why I'm really lucky that I went to a university for art school instead of just a regular art school because I was able to supplement my work with my communications background, but also leverage my communications background to be able to get a job afterwards. So yeah, that's something to think about and chew on. Another con that people don't really talk about is that you lose your own sense of style and your own creativity going to art school, which seems so backwards, but 
I feel like half the time my creativity is shot because I'm just thinking about what my professors want and what my classmates are doing, where I lose my voice and water down certain messages or themes to fit a certain criteria that will give me a good grade in the end because grades are a thing in art school, at least for me, so I do have to be conscious of that, especially having to maintain scholarships. And in doing so, I'm not fully expressing myself how I wish I could. Now, of course, there's reasons why professors say things. Like, of course, they're more experienced. They're working professionals most of the time. They have, you know, gallery works behind them. They've done their shit, y'all. Like, they're a professor for a reason, and like, duh. Duh. But it is very easy to then go into art block and feel like you're trapped and you can't make anything because you want to please everyone, which is just not going to happen inherently. When I'm making an artwork, I literally hear like three different professors' voices in my brain being like, that's not what you should do. Why are you sewing it this way instead of this way? What do you think relates to da 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 and like my brain is just spinning. Also, there are so many talented people around me at all times who I don't even know what to do anymore. Like I'm the type of person to see someone being successful at like fishing and I'm like, well, I should fish now. I should catch a fucking bass. And that's not what I want to do at all. But because I see it working for someone else, I just like immediately gravitate and my eye wanders there. And in art school, it's the exact same for me. If I see someone doing really bomb ass sculptures, I'm like, well, shit, I should do a sculpture now. And if someone makes a really intricate, like, embroidery piece, I'm like, oh, I should pick up the yarn and... And critiques are very difficult emotionally to get to. I know some programs, especially like USC's, is a bit lighter on the critiques, like really light compared to other art schools, but it's still very difficult to put forth an art piece that's very intimate and personal to you and then have people critique and like rip it apart. And then you just sit there on like those uncomfortable ass stools and like, oh my God, the stools. I don't know if it's just like USC or if other art schools have this too, but the chairs are so uncomfortable and they're not even chairs half the time. It's literal stools, like wooden metal stools that you have to sit on for critique for like three hours and you just have to like be like yes, yes. And my posture in those stools is so bad because they are uncomfortably high or uncomfortably low for like the indie niche farm table wooden non-flammable work things that they have. I don't even know what you- desks. They're desks honestly. They're glorified desks which are so expensive for no reason. So get ready to have some back problems in art school. Building character on day one. But I mean, that was more of like a joke one. This next one is not a joke. Let me tell you, art school is lonely. A lot of people don't talk about how isolating it can be to be an artist, or maybe they talk about it too much. It can be very lonely in art school, especially when your practice is not centered around collaboration. For example, painting can be quite isolating because it's you and the canvas and nothing else. Of course, you can socialize with people late night in the studio. Those are like the best of times. But when you're getting your real shit done, you have to like hone in on your practice and it's hard to just make conversations and make new friends while you're doing your work. Whereas if you're in like the film school or even if you're in like, if you're like a photographer and you're constantly talking to different people to get a whole project done, an entire body of work complete, then you're able to meet new people and you're able to have shared experiences through this one piece of art, which is just so incredible and amazing. So I would encourage people if they go to art school to join clubs, you know, make some magazines together, make some zines, those are popping right now. Just do things that are more collaborative that will allow you to still be in a creative space while also getting that socialization aspect because it is super important. Not only learn where other people come from and their backgrounds and what makes them tick, but also exposing you to just new ideas and kind of practices that you wouldn't have otherwise understood before. Which brings me now to some of the pros of art school. I know I've been extraordinarily negative as of recently. But I wanted to start with the cons first because our school gets glorified to an ungodly extent. And I wanted to like break that up a bit before going into like everything that's incredible and amazing about art school because there's so many aspects that literally like breathe life into me like every day. Like creating art is just such a pleasure, even though it can be a sometimes. 
Um, it's just the best thing ever and I wouldn't trade it for the world. So let's talk about some things that are positive. Number one, you meet some of the most incredibly talented people in the world, honestly. People in art school, I would argue, come from the most diverse backgrounds and the most unique stories ever because a lot of people who are artists have something to say and they have something to say because they've been through some sh** and when learning about other people's kind of backgrounds and stories it one helps me develop my own self-concept to understand where i fit in the world and the privilege that i do come from in respect to other people's experiences and getting exposed to very like niche niche practices of art like i have a friend who makes the craziest like just graphics for fun and posts like 10 times a day on socials like av is just like that bitch like she just creates the craziest the wackiest the most fun edits ever and they're so simple and it's not like kitsch it's not like this whole gimmick of oh i'm gonna make something move around and whatnot but it's just like genius in just the amount that she produces like it's just crazy the photo shoots the fashion the fits everything i'm so inspired by it and it's so unique i would have probably never discovered that if i just did communications because everyone there is like boring um including myself like i'm so boring in communications but put me in a fucking art class and i'll speak my truth there's also people who do like mixed media sculptures from found objects. Someone in my art class loved found objects and would walk around like the streets, pick up different nails, screws, or gears, and then put them together in a sculpture. And also like right before I critique, they literally was like walking around the classroom looking for like random things to put onto their sculpture because they thought it needed something. And they ended up just like putting a chain on it. Like in front of the professor too. Like they weren't even trying to hide the fact that they were like adding something last minute to a project because they're like, Hmm, honestly, like, this needs it. This could use it. And then they just did it. And that would have never crossed my mind before, but it just happened right in front of me, and I was shocked. And I was obsessed with it. I was obsessed. Another pro to art school is the equipment, facilities, and resources. Now, this is beyond huge, okay? This is exactly where tuition money goes to. For example, kilns, okay? Kilns are ginormous, and I would never just buy a kiln for my, my studio apartment if I'm creating ceramics, but there are kilns in the ceramic studios that you can use for different projects and stuff like that. That's just so crazy to me. The scale that I can work and that I'm pushed to work in is not something I could do if I was living in like a New York studio apartment with like seven foot ceilings. You know what I mean? Like it's just not gonna happen. There are also 3D printers, laser cut printers, huge printers that can print out like five feet posters. Another thing is the library. The libraries and like the JSTOR books and articles they use for writing papers and researching things for different art projects are so helpful and so looked over because that's what your money goes to. It's for paying for certain subscriptions to gain access to different articles and research papers that you wouldn't have otherwise if you were just not a student. I download like all the articles I'm assigned. I'm downloading all all the things I use for my personal practice and I'm storing that shit on a hard drive like dead ass because all those resources go away after I graduate do with that what you will another huge pro is networking with real working artists or your professors a lot of the times and people who are around you again some of the most talented and incredible friends and these are again the people I hope to work with in the future and building a community of creatives that I can have like long-term relationships with not in like a business major snaky way like oh I'm gonna get a referral code from this person but you're just gonna stay in touch with people who you genuinely care about and if you are friends and whatnot then you just build each other up that's something major that sticks out in my brain is that if you get an opportunity that is huge and grand always extend the ladder down below you if you're climbing up somewhere and you know getting to the top of your industry always see how you can help out someone who was in a different position than you because it's so awful to just climb a ladder and then just stay there alone and solo because one you're just like rude not cool not cool dude that's just not what you do you know what i mean like if you're successful you always want to use it to bring and uplift other people and not just to save it for yourself because there's like no point in that in my opinion and the last pro that's pretty obvious i'd say um but still of course worth mentioning is the improvement in your skill your technical skill and your conceptualization 
Foundation. Now that I've taken art classes for a couple of years, I am starting to finally gain the confidence to use my own voice and starting to put to use the different pieces of advice my professors give to me and cherry picking the ones I think work best for my own practice. So I personally found a lot of success in pulling from those different places of advice. My art before school was so bad, like not like horrific, but it just wasn't there conceptually or technically. Like even my sketches, oh my gosh, my sketches have improved so much. My line drawings have gotten more cleaner, my mark making is more confident and more intentional. My use of color is growing even though I suck at color, oh my god, I suck at color so bad. I'll get there y'all. I'll, I'll get better soon. This actually just started happening recently, but people have been commenting that it looks like I've improved a lot throughout the years, and that is like the best compliment ever. Like, oh my gosh. I'm trying to work so hard on improving, and it's so gradual where sometimes I don't realize that I am improving until someone else points it out in like a critique or online, where I finally have the perspective to look back at old work and be like, oh shoot, like, I did improve. And maybe this was worth the tuition money, but I went to art school specifically to get better art and that's exactly what's happening so I don't have too many complaints honestly. With all that being said I really hope this video helps some of y'all and if you like this video like the video. If you have any fun comments, critiques, or joke to share comment down below and if you like me, my art, or want to follow my journey as an art student in LA you can subscribe. It's a fun time here and I think that's the end of the video y'all. That's the end of the video.